All right, this is Scream Life, the on radio station. If you haven't heard it before, if you're hearing it for the first time, you better recognize you're hearing something you're never going to hear anywhere else. I am Jason, the host, with my fellow Scream Life team here. We're here talking about creative minds. This is part two, a continuation of what we did last week. It's just gonna be we're gonna have a great time we're gonna discuss a lot of different things a lot of different creative minds and we want you to tune in we want you to be interactive and we hope you enjoy every minute of the show so sit back and relax and enjoy this
Wow. <laughs> Jesus is the champion. Talk about creativity. Taking the crucifixion and putting it in a metaphor of Jesus in a boxing match with the devil. That was Carmen with the champion from the album, album entitled Champion. We thank God for him. We thank God for that song. We're still on the topic of creative minds. We have some new minds with us. We have some new screamers. And we have our youngest screamer yet, Miss Isabella, is going to come tell us what she thinks creative creativity is or what a creative mind is. Well, what I feel about creativity is when you have something you're doing that no one's ever thought of, that you could just take it out of your own. It's just your own. You made it up. Like, you've accomplished something, and you're really proud of yourself for doing it. One of the people I think is really creative is God. Amen. God, because he does things that touches people's heart and keeps them safe from the devil and he helps them in their life. 
Amen. I agree what Isabella said because God just expresses himself by different ways of art, of music, of paintings, and it's just amazing. But my definition of creativity is thinking beyond what you're expected of. Mm -hmm. Beyond what you're expecting. And when you say through paintings for God being creative, through paintings, you mean like where he paints the heavens with the sky or music or how he inspires people? How he inspires people to okay. do it. Amen. Amen. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. In I my, agree. In my opinion, I think creation or creativity is when creations can be originated and other creations can be performed based by that creation mm -hmm. and what um and what elizabeth said and even in the display that carmen did and that even though that it may not have happened that way does not yeah. mean the message that was being brought across is that that god has already had a, has already known jesus has already known the devil has already known that they that satan was defeated Amen. the whole time right. the whole time jesus has never thrown a blow in which the song was saying mm -hmm. he had blocked them all but just by him awakening mm -hmm. the satan knew that he was defeated Amen. and it didn't even take a blow for him to be down on his knees and the thing and and it, and even what elizabeth said about about god being creative as he and as he created the world and other creations are being based on him and other creations and all the things of this world that he has put in our minds to do we've done but god is the original creator and therefore we produce other lives and produce him more and more amen that's really good and one thing that stuck out to me about what you said is that god is the originator he's the original creator so he originates things that we are able to expand so it's a matter of God being the one who created that original thing. So what do you think about creativity and originality? Is there a difference? Does it take originality to be creative? Expound on it. You, you have something you want to say? Well, what I felt about the song is when Jesus fought Satan, all along God knew that Jesus would win because... He is our mighty God. He made the world. He can take it away. He has all control of this world. And from the beginning, we knew he was going to win. Amen. I, I agree. And I love how, especially with our youngest viewer, um, just in recognizing screamer. a little bit about our youngest screamer, <laughs> not viewer, viewer and screamer. But I love how... Um, Carmen was able to capture the crucifixion in such a way to which the child could understand it. And, I mean, this is not, this is a child that was raised around us that does think like us to a degree, but in the same respect, many children who will watch this will say, yeah. it showed that Jesus didn't have to fight right. back. Yeah, He didn't have to fight him, but because the weapons of warfare that we use are not carnal. Amen. That's great. And we fight trusting our creator. Mm -hmm. And I just think just in um just with him, I love how he captured it in such a way that he could express that event in terms to which children yeah. could understand. And I just think that was just masterful in his creativity. Very good. That really is what it's all about. Carmen creativity expressed through champion we're going to keep the show moving and we're going to go with another song this song is by brian duncan yes. and it's called the yes. last time i was here um, i encourage all of you listeners to listen to the words and see if you can relate to this song and what message he's trying to portray using the gift of creativity god has given him and for those who don't understand it the first time we will expound on it a little because um, it took a couple of us a couple of times. Uh, if you were tuned in earlier, then you basically know the devil's busy. But we're still screaming. Amen. So, uh, I, I apologize. I won't be able to get you a picture of him. 
<laughs> but again, as she said before, just to restate, this is Brian Duncan, and uh, the song is called The Last Time I Was Here. Enjoy. Praise the Lord. The last time I was here by Brian Duncan. Beautiful, powerful song. Um, one thing um, that I feel about creative minds is that creative minds are given the gift of being able to express. They have the ability to express shared feelings and emotions about different matters in various forms of art. And through his singing, he was able to express a scenario that many people face and have uh, gone through and just basically what this song is talking about is being a child and going into it starts off saying I'll just read it it starts off saying uh, the last time I was here I can remember standing tall but looking up to the face the door 
Uh, I can recall each room as large and not at all that I was small. So basically, he's a child in the beginning of the song in a place where everything's big. And um, then it goes on to say, I was a child, of course, um, but I was a child of yours. Last time I was here, how could I have known I'd be... I'd be awakened by the loss of things held dear and that my coming back would mark the fact I've come full circle. I've done the work I've, I've, I'm stronger for. I couldn't ask for more. Stay with me a while. God of all that's come and gone, you are the faithful Rosa Sharon. You are the morning's final dawn. I need you to stay with me a while. Let me feel your strength in me here in the cradle of my soul. L let me let all else now go. I've gone around the world to find the precious pearl was here all along. Then the next verse goes on to say, the last time I was here, I thought I knew the score. I thought my world was in my control. I cursed a lot of things. I blamed my chains. My lack of strength, the simple length of time I've known, laid now before your throne. Stay with me a while. It goes back into the chorus. And it's just talking about how sometimes in life, you start off in God. Everybody doesn't start off in the church. Um, that's not everyone's testimony. But in, in this particular song, he's expressing that he was once in the church. He once knew God. And then he began to take things on himself. He began to try to control his life and control things. And then he found himself looking for that precious pearl or that thing that you live for. The thing that you live for and, um, or the purpose of life. And um, then when he came full circle, he realized it was there all along. It was God. Mm -hmm. And I think many times we face things because we try to find meaning in life without God. There is you no purpose. no purpose. No purpose. Your purpose is for his glory. He created us for his glory to know him. Mm -hmm. And as a believer, our commission is to go out into all the world and to preach the gospel, to tell others about Jesus and what he's done for us. And um, just going back to what creative minds are and what creativity is, I'm going right. to uh, say again or restate what was stated by... Isabella that God is the greatest creative mind because not only is he creative he is the creator and the originator um, according to Webster original or to originate or original or to originate it's um, the first or primary and creative is in uh, imaginative or inventive and with that God not only creates that thing that we uh, create our creative for, he's the originator. So um, that just shows who God is, that he is the ultimate creator. Um, that gives me a question I want to ask if anybody wants to try to answer this. Considering what we've been saying about creativity and and uh, originality. What do you think one does with their creativity? Just what do people do? If they're a creative person, what do they do with it? With their creativity? What they do with it is they take it from originality. They get they add things to it, they yeah. take some things to it, mm -hmm. and they put it to where it can be creative from the originality, based on the originality. Okay, so okay. if you're a creative person, we know that nobody, there's some original, ri original people. Um, we know the telephone, that's an invention, right? Right. Mm -hmm. That's an invention. The original telephone did not have the ability to get on the internet. The original telephone, you couldn't see people through it. It had a basic use. It was really like an, uh, like what you do the Morse code with. Right. You couldn't really speak through it. 
That's the original phone. But creative minds have taken that original idea and made it into something else. Right. Okay? So that being said, what do we do with our creativity? If you're a creative person, what do you do with it? Right. When you're creative, what you do with it is you don't just keep it to yourself. You yeah. kind of like share it, spread your creativity. Right. Yeah. And when you do it, you don't just sit there. You, you make stuff. And yeah. You create things that people don't really understand or not really think of and that's what makes it so special. That's good. Right. Well, and, that's, that's people, yeah. that's and, good. I, and another thing that I think that what they do with with creativity is they either do good with it or they do bad with it. Yes. An example yeah. is scientific theory. Mm -hmm. It took a mind to come up with that. That's Somebody good. came that's up with that. Point. If it's a theory, it's, a it's not a fact. A theory mm -hmm. is a thought. A yeah. thought that a thought that there is a slight bit of evidence that this could be true. It could be true. This could have happened. Yeah. But it, but but there's a different definition though. It takes a mind. It takes it takes a mind to do that, yeah. and it takes a mind to mm -hmm. a to, yeah, a thought and a mind to be able to even think that mm -hmm. and to and and to stay with it. Exactly. And the right. thing and there's and there's people that that really believe in that really believe that, and that's one thing that that I believe that can defer us mm. from other religions really because we stuck with one truth and mm. one truth said that it is and that's what we stuck with yeah. or what true Christians did mm. we oh, stuck with that dang. law we okay. stuck with that law we true. stayed with that law and it never changes and it never will change because God's word is law and God and everything that he says is good and perfect Amen. therefore it can't be changed by imperfection mm. okay so All right, now, I, okay. If, I bring trying in, to if I bring in a question I just like to ask so in that in discussing that where does um, where does the separation come between creativity and originality I mean, it has to come somewhere. And in, in, in some point, there's a difference between the creativity and the originality. When does the separation come in? The, well, we, we said it earlier that creativity is the ability to expand on an original idea or an original right. thing. Mm -hmm. We know that the originator is God. Everything, um, I think you said it earlier, there's nothing new under the sun. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So... We know that back in the garden, they didn't have iPods or iPhones, but someone took what was here and made something out of it and expanded it in that way. So, therefore, we know the originator and creator is the Lord. Something that uh, Isabella said really was, was really on point, our youngest screamer. She was saying that when you have the gift of creativity, you use it. And El Nez brought out, it can be used for good, it can be used for evil. And many times it's right. used for self-gain. Mm -hmm. So if you have the ability to do something or cause change, you're going to do it. Right. Think about, uh, this isn't, go with me here. Yeah. If you think about X-Men, who doesn't look at a comic book or look at one of these films and say, man, if I could fly, I would do this. If I could read minds, I can do this. Yeah. A lot of people with power and the ability to do stuff are going to exercise it. So that just made me think about God. Right. And him being the original creator and the ability to create the world, create the stars, the heavens, everything like that. Create a law and tell us what his standard is. If he wanted to wipe us out, he could. He could. Start all over. But, you know... Who would you want to have that power that God has other than him? Right. Exactly. If I was God, everybody would be in trouble. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and the thing, too, is what and what God has shown us. God has said, and what he said in that he is, and that he is perfect, which is saying that the decisions are not made for anybody else because mm -hmm. of the fact that we, we really don't have any worth, that, that God made us worthy to him because we work, we're not worthy no matter what we do, no matter Without what we him. say. Exactly. Without, without him and no matter how many times that we do we cannot even prove our innocence because therefore Jesus yeah. wouldn't have had to die on the cross and that and, and all the, and all the things that, that they bruised him and whipped him for 
Amen. was because of our imper imperfection. Amen. Jesus right. was perfect the whole entire time mm -hmm. while he was on the cross, but our sins is what stained him mm -hmm. and what put a stench on him yeah. and made God turn away Amen. because of the fact that he rejected us. We were on him and he died for us. Right. And the fact that God let his son do that, God knew what needed to be done for us. Right. And, it, and it's love. It, it, it is love. Right. Yeah. And, and the thing about it, too, that you brought out that's so powerful is the fact that he is the originator. Mm -hmm. The originator of all creativity is the origin. Mm -hmm. The origin is God's word. Amen. By God's word, the world was made. Yeah. By God's word, the world can also be destroyed. All, everything that was created. Uh, one of the things we were talking about earlier is, um, for one, we just... We look at in six days what God really did with the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, things that we come to understand is uh, how nature works, how nature functions, how nature is able to go about functioning continually. Everything happens in cycles. You know, we just think of God created the fowls of the air, but he created fowls to hunt creatures of the ground as well as be hunted by creatures of the ground. The continuous cycle between predator and prey, then there's the cycle of even air. Even air has its own cycle of recycling and being recycled, being put back into the earth and being sent back into the atmosphere. All of these things just from God's word. That is the true origin of everything. Everything centers around the origin. And as Elnez stated before, all creativity stems from the origin. And the reason creativity becomes tainted at points is when y'all said it, or Leahy said it, it's used for self-gain. We don't want to use it, or not just self-gain in the sense of making yourself a better person, but self-gain in the sense of rising your throne. Because that's what Lucifer did. All the sins that God hates all go back to Lucifer. Because it's all things Lucifer did in trying to raise his throne above God's. And everything he does to try to tear us away from the Father. To hurt him. So in recognizing that, we come back to creativity. And creativity can only be really appreciated if you appreciate the origin. Yeah. You, we appreciate it once we come back to the origin. Then creativity has its place in life. Because creativity is needed. We all agree. Creativity is needed. Creativity, we want it. But you have to, as Elnez said, appreciate the seed. You have to appreciate that this, you need a seed for the fruit. Yes, you have to go through the process of the roots and then the tree trunk and the tree and the leaves and the many years, the different formations, the different chemical reactions that happen, but in the end you have fruit and reestablish um, you reestablish reestablish <laughs> reestablish <laughs> reestablish, <laughs> reestablish yeah. the seeds not to say that you X out the first seed because more mm -hmm. seeds are formed but you appreciate the origin uh, from what I hear we have another segment that we're about to go into. All of y'all know about it. We're about to take a trip into the vault. Amen. Because Woo. all this talk about God has really got me moved. Amen. So, yes, on Scream Life, I mean, we do play some secular music. We, um, we try to have it nice for everybody, but we do want it to be understood we do represent Christ. Amen. We are his workmanship. And yes, God is real. Yes. For I can feel. Yeah. Him and my soul. Me too. All right. Bishop Patterson. G.E. Yes, e. Patterson. G.E. Patterson. Yes, God is real. <laughs>
Praise the Lord, the late, great Bishop G.E. Patterson with God is, oh, yes, God is real. Um, if you notice, we have a voice missing in the uh, studio, uh, but it's not for long. We uh, have on the phone with us our uh, founder of Scream Life, Spiger Diori. And um, he's tuning in from Chicago, and uh, he's going to give us some words on our topic, creative minds, right. originality versus creativity, right. and where God is in those two things. He's going to speak to us after, he's, after his words. We're going to move on into our final song, and we'll tell you what's next after the song. <laughs> Uh, you're on Spiger. Hello? Spiger. Spiger? J just a moment. Spiger, are you there? Spidey? I don't know. Well, while, while we're trying to get Spidey up... Well, um, just go ahead and expound on that. Yes, God is real in my soul. One thing I like about that song is that it says, For he has washed and made me clo and made me whole. And um, it goes back to the personal experience that you have with God, why he's real to you. Um, not because someone said it, not because you read it somewhere, but because of your personal experience with God to prove that he is who the Bible says that he is. And with that, you know, through your personal experience with God, your understanding of his um, existence is uh, authentic. And through that, you know, going back to the topic, original minds, you can trust that the word that says that he's real is true. And um, when you try the word of God, which is a holy Bible, you see and find that it's true because it comes through every time true so um i think we got spiger back on the uh phones so um we're going to turn it over to him and hello spidey hey hello everybody this is spidey broadcasting from chicago illinois how's everybody out there great Woo! great Spring alive. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm listening in, and, um, you know, I, I thank, thank God first for getting me here safely. And uh, for, for everybody chaining off, everybody listening in. Uh, but, you know, this what we've been dealing with, the Creative Find, the second edition, I think it's very appropriate when, you, when you're speaking about uh, what, what is uh, the, the difference in being creative and being original. You have to have one to be the other and, and God being the original mm. you know Amen. he is the original creator because of the way he did it no one else has been able to duplicate it Amen. Uh, so he, right. he goes beyond what we would say creative mm -hmm. uh, creative is really um, is a term that we can grasp and, and understanding God speaking into this and even speaking, we can understand that, but we don't understand him just willing something and it happening. Right. Amen. Right. Right. That's good. Something out of nothing. Right. So making something out of nothing is not something that we can understand. So in man to man, creative is simply being able to intelligently manipulate what's already yes. And it does take original thinking in order to do that because you're taking from what's here and making something else out of it. Right. Um, but but where God is concerned, that's a whole not, a whole different kind of level of creativity because he's yeah. actually the creator of something and not simply a manipulator of what's already. That's right. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. All right. That's good. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Spidey up there. Yeah, I was worried about not being able to make it, but, you know, it's worked out. God always has a way to work it out. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm I'm grateful because I know that what's going on now, if God, he's going to take us to a a new thing, a new level. And for those listening in, do not allow anything to keep you from reaching beyond what you can see. That's where, that's where the strength comes from. When you go beyond what you can see, you know, that, that's where faith actually kicks in. And you can see it's not faith. Mm. No. Right. That's, that's, good. that's a whole nother show. <laughs> Faith, yeah. Stepping out on nothing and finding something there. Yeah, that's creative. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right, Spidey. Praise the Lord. There. Chicago doing yeah. Screaming Life. Screaming Life. Oh, yeah. Screaming Life, where we go. Scream Life. All right, thanks. <laughs> and it don't stop. It don't stop. It won't stop. And it don't quit. Amen. Thanks, Spidey. Yes, sir. All right, Jason, I hear uh, Jason in there and, and uh, Leahy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, holding down the fort. Uh, hold, holding it down. <laughs> Better yet, holding it up. Amen. Yes, yes, holding it up. That's, that, that's what we need to do. We need to be creative and, and not just take what people say. We, we got to... We gotta reinvent this language. We're not Amen. holding nothing down. We're holding it up. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Wait for some young buck to come and sit in the cup. <laughs> That's KRS one. Amen. But yeah, uh, y'all carry on, carry on. Spidey is pleased with what's going on, and I know God is too. Yeah. yeah. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Well, we are going to continue to... uh, Good words from your friendly neighborhood. Spidey Spidey man. Spidey man. (laughs) We're going to uh, keep on with the theme of uh, creative minds with the next song by the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. Think about the lyrics as you listen. Think about what we've just said. Allow God to minister to you through the song, God of All Gods.
the God of all gods. We truly appreciate him for everything he is, everything he's done, and everything he continues to show himself to be. Even in one's absence, we showed who drives this thing. God drives the whole thing. God is the origin. And for any creativity to stem from the seed, you have to first acknowledge the seed. You don't need to stem off and once seeds have come from your labors, you think that that is of just you. You came from a seed as well. And each seed that you came from is just another seed that was created. So first Amen. acknowledge your creator. Amen. That's good. Even in the days of your youth, all other things will be added unto you. I think I mixed two scriptures together. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I meant to say something else. But, of course, um, this is Scream Life. We truly thank God for allowing us to be here. We thank God for allowing us to do everything that we were able to do. And just as the last song we stated, He is the God of all gods. Amen. He is the King of all kings. He is the origin of all living things. Amen. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning, and He is the end. When time begins, it begins with Him. Amen. When this time will end, it will end with Him. Mm -hmm. He is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipotent. Oh, and omnipresent, that's what mm -hmm. I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Always present. The creator of this world, the creator of our being. When God created this world, he said it is very good. Amen. And in not being restricted by time, he looked at this world in its, in all its vast expanse, mm -hmm. even outside of time, Amen. and said it is very good. Amen. He saw when his son would die. Amen. He saw when each and every one of you viewing this show now would be born. And he said it is very good. And that's from the mouth mm. of the one and only. Amen. Bear this in mind. A lot of people sometimes you may feel like you're worthless. You may feel you have no purpose. You may feel that you have been brought down to your knees. But in this, you already are in the perfect position. Amen. You're just a decision away. God said there is only one way to the Father, and that's through the Son, a straight and narrow path. And through this path opens so many things, not a wider path, but the opening to the Creator, Amen. being brought back to God where we first started. We thank all of you for viewing, for tuning in, of course, we don't want to leave without a word of benediction and prayer. What I say unto one, I say unto all. Watch as well as pray. God, our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this hour, for this time, this moment that you've given unto us to come before you humbly and willing to hear what you have to say. Removing the filters from our ears, removing any contradictions of you, and just opening our mind yes, Lord. to you. Not with the ability to comprehend you, nor with the ability to put you in a box, but with only the, with only the ability to see what you reveal unto us. Yes. Lord, we discover the things that you've created we discover things about what you've created, but Lord, the greatest discovery is the death of your son. Thank you, Jesus. And the understanding of how much you love us, you are love, that you would give your son to die on the cross, suffering many things before and even many after, in that you had to be buried with our sins, but you came to sustain our souls by obtaining our guilt that we might obtain the gift of eternal life. God, we thank you for allowing each of us to be here. Any viewer that has tuned in, God, we thank you that they tuned in. 
in this hour that they were able to hear. From now on to whenever this will be viewed, God, we thank you. We honor and acknowledge you in your originality, in your beauty, in all that you are. God, we ask that we continue to acknowledge you in all the things that we do, in anything that we might create, anything we might discover, anything we might manipulate, we want to always remember you. Yes, we want you to always be the fulcrum. We want you to be whatever pivots anything we do. We want you to be the centripetal force that always draws us back to you, yes. drawing us back to the center, drawing us back to the origin. We ask your will be done, that you have your way in each of our lives, that you draw us all closer to you. We thank you and ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Speaking of centripetal, we have been brought back to the beginning. Creativity versus originality, but we have found a way to bring them together and that one leads the other and continues to reproduce all that we see. We are so thankful yes. for Leahy stepping in, really taking over, hosting the show. We thank for, for Isabella yes. who came in last minute, young viewer, great mind. We're grateful for El Nez, one of our pioneers, person here from the very first show. We're thankful for Erna, she was here last week. Opening up with Creative Minds and she came back this week. Hard hitting, never stopping. I am Jason. I am here. I am always going to be here. Spidey calling in. And all of you who viewed, you are all part of this. We are all one great big family. And we are so grateful to all of you. We just are going to keep doing this thing this is season two we are not going to stop we are going to keep coming hard hitting you thought this week was something tune in next week we'll have our um topic to be announced but until then peace love and scream life we'll see you next week Woo!